Hey what's up everybody, it's Ziggy and welcome back to more Project Zomboid. In today's video we're finding out if me and my friends can survive one week in Project Zomboid. There are a couple loot mods and all that stuff, but let's get into the plan. First step, meet at the Rosewood Police Station. Second step, loot the police station. Third step, clear out the fire department. This is going to be our main base for a while. Last and finally, try to survive as long as we can. Oh man, I spawned in a really bad spot. I'm by the fire station though, so you know what? That's all that matters. I think I've spawned in the police station. Okay, I'm running over. You are in Rosewood, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm outside. The police station? Uh, wait, you have the key. Come back here. See if you can open this. Oh, <laughs> close that. Door. Yeah, we can actually hide in here for a bit until they come in. As long as we don't make yep, let's go. noise. <laughs> After looting all we could, we had to leave. And it was going to be a fight. Okay, wait. We can farm on the ground here. It's a one shot, one kill if you get it good. Uh, keep, keep killing them. Yeah. Oh, oh, fuck. The gate. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. This door's about to break. Yeah, I think we gotta try to find a ditch for this building. Let's go this way. Yeah, I see a door this way. I think we can go this way. It's like a side exit. Huh. Let me peek real quick, check. One. Might be a couple inside, who knows? Come to me. We then managed to clear out the entire fire department, taking out three wandering Zeds upstairs. Next step, we have to find a generator. Also, we would need to find some sort of transportation because along with the generator, we would need to find both the how to use generator magazine and we would eventually need to collect gasoline for said generator. The best way to find a magazine for how to use generators is either find them in a home bookshelf or go to the big Enigma books at the center of Rosewood. And the best way to find a generator was to loot the surrounding residential garages and hope that we get lucky. And this is home right here. I have a key. You do have a key? Oh, I can siphon gas from the truck. Gra you wanna grab that one? Okay, start it up and drive her over, W key. Well, we successfully secured transportation. Did you, wait, did you check the ch chunk of the Vic? No. Oh, <laughs> check it. <laughs> How do I look? Oh right. my <laughs> god. Oh, wow. <laughs> we should go check Shotgun that other big truck. Two pistols. <laughs> the shotgun. Right, take, the ga take, take the gas out of this place, okay. <laughs> For like, take a right. Oh no. Oh, we're gonna so die. It was then time to clear the base of any dead zombies. We wouldn't want anybody getting any corpse sickness. We then decided to head north. We'd loot farther up in the town and then would hit the first residential house. First step was to loot the garage. I'm gonna check the back of the house real quick. See if we have any neighbors. No neighbors. No gas. No gas? Damn. Oh! <gasps> well, I gotta where get, are you? I gotta get, I'm at the garage. Inside. I just. Look what's in here. We need a oh, generator. We got lucky in the first residential house we looted, we found a generator. I picked it up and we ran straight back home. Now this has been my only playthrough so far of Project Zomboid where the first garage I looted had a generator spot. Usually it takes me a couple of garages before finding one, but finding one on my first shot on a multiplayer co-op world with my buddies, it was an amazing feeling. We spent the rest of the day organizing the base which is basically just moving stuff from upstairs downstairs downstairs upstairs sorting where loot goes and later i cleared out three zombies outside of the base that was it for today though in one day we not only managed to have a base get working transportation and find a generator the only thing we need now is to find the magazine for the generator and get gas at the gas station at the start of day two, our goal was simple. We need to find the how to use generators magazine. Like I said, there are two possible locations where it can spawn. One, the Enigma Books bookstore up in town, or two, the residential area. Some of those houses in the residential area have bookshelves, so that's where we would first go look. However, two houses down, and we still haven't found a house with a bookshelf. On our third house, however, we found one, but 
still no generator magazine. We ended up looting five houses so far, including two of bookshelves, but still no magazine. So we decided to go to the bookstore and see what we can find there. We're kind of like, I think we're kind of I'm exhausted. I'm gonna have to sit on the ground up here. Yeah, me too. Let's just sit on the ground outside, book naked. Oh look, it's open. Let's come inside. Oh fuck, run. Just run. Go back to the- go down. It'll stop eventually. Just our luck. Every single house we've looted so far has not had a single alarm. We go to the bookstore, I open the front door, which is unlocked by the way, and boom. We get our first alarm, drawing in as many Zeds as it can. Um. Maybe. We can just sit down here. Also, the alarm stopped. Let's just go see how many there are. There can't be too many. So two, three, four, five. Right in front of the zippy mart here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Up there. So after re-clearing the street that we just cleared out, we finally got to enter the bookstore. Also, I just want to state by this point, I think I'm around 500 zombie kills and in-game days have passed. We're only at like day four slash five. So yeah, I'm a killing machine right now. I haven't found how to use your generator yet, have you? No. That means generator is definitely in a house, son, if it's not there. I'm going to be blatantly honest. I'm cutting out two hours of footage here because for the rest of the thing, we just looted food, looted the rest of the residential houses. I mean, we looted over 10 residential houses at this point, and we still have not found the how to use generators magazine. At this point, I was getting pretty desperate. I wasn't sure what was going on. I almost thought I didn't spawn at Rosewood, and I was going to go crazy. At the beginning of day three, it was time for us to go get gas for the generator. Now we couldn't add any gas to the generator yet or use the generator because we still haven't found the magazine at this point. By the way, we cleared out the ent entire Rosewood residential section and we still did not find any how to use generator magazine. So we just headed up to go get gas while because if the pumps were going to turn off, we would need gas before then. And yeah, that's where our story continues. Come on, get me bitches. Okay, one's full. We might find the generator book here as well. Oh, oh there's guys, a fucking El Camino. Oh, I found it. I found it. I found it. How to use What'd generators. Nice. Oh, wait. This, the, the store had an upstairs. And this is really the end of the video. If you guys all did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys are new. To list all of our accomplishments, I'll start from the beginning. Not only did we clear out our base, the Rosewood Fire Department, we also obtained a generator. Eventually, a couple days later in game time, finding the How to Use Generator magazine. We found a bunch of guns and ammo and even found some silencer stuff modded, of course. And yeah, I mean, we are set up for, well, a long time now. But that isn't where this completely ends. Well, at least for now it does, but in the future, I'm hoping to pick this back up with my friends again. It just all really depends on when they wanna play. Like I said, if you guys enjoyed the video and wanna see more, leave a like. Tell me what your favorite part was in the comment section down below. And yeah, guys, it's been Ziggy, and I will see you guys in the next video. And this has been, Can Me and My Friends Survive One Week in Project Zomboid? Peace.